Moving on, the anti-counterfeit agency now say the fight against COVID-19 has been hampered by an increase in counterfeit medical supplies and equipment. According to the agency, the majority of recovered counterfeits in the country were imported with face masks topping the list. A few weeks ago, the agency confiscated medical face masks worth over 20 million shillings and arrested several suspects who have already been charged in court. According to Agnes Garingo, a senior manager with anti-counterfeit agency, the mentality that imports worked better than local products was to blame for the influx of counterfeit products. And one of the measures that have now been taken up by the government and through um, an amendment of the Anti-Counterfeit Act is that it has introduced the mandatory registration of all, count of all um, imports that are coming into the country. And this is going to be happening at uh, the source of the goods. She said that of the total goods seized in the last two years, 1.3% was pharmaceutical products which had already been smuggled into the country. A director in the Ministry of Health Osman Wafa termed the pandemic as a game changer that had opened up opportunities in terms of innovation. Because a lot has happened, but we really want now to move forward in this area with research and development, which will expect is expected to spur development in our country and in the region. We encourage our students, we encourage our institutions to put money in those research. That answers the questions for Kenyans. And that can actually be moved to products where necessary. So that is the position for AMREV and also the position for the civil society organization, that we invest in research that addresses our priorities. They were speaking on the ongoing East African Hybrid Regional Health Research and Trade Conference in Lake Naivasha Resort. Reporting for Lunchtime News, I'm Wamboy Otiende.